this trend is not particular to North Carolina. It's been consistent, certainly across the southeast, our neighbors uh, to the south and to, to the north of us, um, experiencing a similar trend, which suggests, by the way, that this is not the result of, for example, North Carolina's Clean Smokestacks Bill, which which uh, our Division of Air Quality likes to say, likes to point to as as being the, the culprit here, the, the reason why we were having such a good... But if that was true, then you'd see it in North Carolina, but you wouldn't see it in South Carolina, which didn't adopt such a bill, or you wouldn't see it in Virginia, or you wouldn't see it in Georgia, because none of those states adopted the really strict standards that North Carolina did in 2002. And besides, we actually... I mean, the, the smokestacks bill isn't fully implemented yet, and um, certainly hasn't been the last few years as our ozone uh, has fallen. Let's talk a little bit more about EPA standards. Mm -hmm. When the feds watch this closely around the country, what do you think they're likely to do if this trend continues and they see that a lot of the states are doing very well at meeting this new stricter standard? What would you predict will happen? I think they'll tighten it again. Um, I, that, that has been the history of the uh, Environmental Protection Agency. Uh, there I, uh, there, I actually heard an EPA representative a few years ago at a conference when asked why they were going to tighten down the standards again. Is, her response was, well, we don't want communities to get comfortable.